Hi YouTube and thank you for clicking on this video. So this is the latest New Year's upload video ever. I know, I apologize. So we started the new year, I was all like motivated and ready to go and I had so many video ideas and then I got the flu. So I was down and out for like seven days, the beginning of the new year. And that was the reason that I hadn't been filming was just because I was literally only going to work and coming home. I wasn't like wearing makeup or anything like that. So we are back, we are better. And now we are starting the new year at almost the end of January. So because it is the new year, I wanted to make a video basically just talking about um, how to get your skin right in 2020, like genuine tips and things that I believe if you start doing this year, you'll notice a big difference in your skin no matter what changes you're trying to see. So if you're interested in hearing my tips, then keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about kind of sounds like common sense, but basically what I'm going to say is stop using products that you know don't work. And what I mean by that is I see so many clients that will basically talk about an issue with their skin that they've had forever. They'll say like, oh, I have chronically dry skin, like it's so bad. And then I ask them what kind of moisturizer they use or I recommend another moisturizer and they just say, oh, well, mine works fine. Like I just want to finish it. But the thing is, is if you're using products that you know aren't working, you're not seeing any results from them and um, you have the same issues that you're trying to treat with the products and it's not worth finishing it if you know it's not going to do anything. So get rid of those products, really clean out your current skincare cabinet, figure out like, what do I like? What do I not like? What am I using literally just because I have it, but I know it doesn't work. So go through all that stuff first and it'll just give you like a fresh start. So you're not just piling a bunch of stuff on your face for absolutely no reason that you know isn't making it any better. And speaking of skincare products, I think that in the new year, everybody should invest in a good quality skincare routine so i find that i see a lot of new clients in like january around the time that right after the new year just because a lot of people are into like now i want to try professional products i want to get new stuff i don't really like what i've been using so that time is really a good time to start honestly because if you think about it like everybody is starting around that time and what I mean by like a professional routine is really think about your skin and think of what do I really want to see the difference in. Maybe you have a lot of discoloration that you don't like. It may be acne that you're trying to get rid of. Maybe you're dry and you just want your skin to have some life to it. Like, so really take advantage of the fact that your esthetician has been trained on what they're using and that they can recommend a really good custom routine for you. And that's what I think you should do. Um, I know that obviously, like I said, it gets expensive, but it makes more sense to go about it that way than it is to just go into Sephora and buy everything they recommend because Sephora, we all know, you'll go and spend a couple hundred dollars easily and you'll get distracted by the makeup and we all know how that goes. So instead of just going in there and buying a bunch of stuff or going to the drugstore and buying a bunch of stuff, work with a professional and really help um, or help them help you. So when you go in for a facial, like do a really in-depth consultation because they're already going to ask you questions about your skin. Really be open and honest about what you're going through, what you like, what you dislike, how your skin has been for the last couple of years. That way that you guys can work together to create a custom routine. So that is basically... I'm trying not to ramble, but that is basically my overall tip in that sense is once you go through and declutter your whole skincare cabinet, go book a professional facial, go work with an esthetician and try to find a routine, a regimen for yourself that you really like and that will see that you'll help see results with your skin concerns. And speaking of skincare products, stop going days without doing your regimen. Consistency is going to be key in your whole skincare journey. You want to make sure that you're doing your whole routine morning and night. Your morning and night routine will differ just based on the different products that you're using, but just make sure you're doing it. And as a part of that regimen, even if you want to start off really, really simple, make sure you are taking off your makeup properly. I cannot stress this enough cannot stress this enough if you have a routine and you're not properly taking off your makeup you're just putting products on top of the makeup and it's just doing nothing but clogging your pores and then you're going to go to bed and you have your nice clean sheets and your clean pillowcases and you're going to be rolling around all night smearing that old makeup on your bed and then when you go to sleep the next night if you wash your face properly you're going to take that day old makeup and be putting it back into your pores so making sure that you're washing your face is going to be super super important um, I am not a fan of makeup wipes. I get asked about it a lot. I do not like makeup wipes. I don't like how you have to pull at your skin. I don't like how dry they make your skin feel. And I feel like 
they give you a feeling of literally just stripped barren skin and that's not what we want um me personally i use i remove my makeup two different ways i either will and this also depends on how much makeup i'm wearing because um if i'm not wearing a ton of makeup to work like i am not full glam at work every day but if i am doing a full glam i will go in with my pca cleansing oil i'll link it down below this product is amazing um, it has vitamin E, grapeseed oil, there's lavender in it, and it dissolves all of your makeup. So even liquid lipstick, stubborn mascara on your eyes, this product is going to get off every single thing without you having to pull or tug at the skin. And because it's an oil and it has so many antioxidants in it, it's very nourishing to the skin. So when you wipe it off, your skin doesn't even feel dry. Of course, you still need to do the rest of your routine. But if you were to put this on and take off your makeup and just leave your skin as it is, it's not going to feel dry, which is amazing. So I will link that product down below. And then on days that I don't have as much makeup, I use um, CeraVe Micellar Water and I take off my mascara with it, like my stubborn area. So your mascara, my liquid lipstick, I take off that with it. And then once I do those areas, I just take off my makeup by double cleansing my skin with my PCA Facial Wash. I use the Oily Problem one. And it has such a nice lather to it, such a nice foam that when I wash my face, it truly removes all of that makeup. And both of those products, I just go on with a dry face. I don't do anything first. So that is how I remove my makeup. That is how I recommend that you remove your makeup. And you will also notice a big difference once you get rid of the wipes too, just because it doesn't strip your face, give you that gross feeling. And honestly, I feel like not using wipes is kind of a small way to give back to the environment just because we know that wipes end up in landfills and they don't dissolve and they're really bad for the environment. So I just think, I don't know, things like that just make me feel happy to do knowing that I'm, I'm just trying to do my part and it's an easy way for you to do your part. So that is what I recommend in regards to removing makeup. So like I talked about earlier with booking yourself a professional facial and working with an esthetician, another way that I feel like you should get your skin right in 2020 is book yourself a professional treatment that you've been eyeing forever. And what I mean by that is the way social media is today, it's really awesome because you can look into people's treatment rooms before you even meet them and reach out to them. So you can see like people doing microneedling, dermaplaning. Um, hydrofacials, microdermabrasion. There's so many amazing treatments that you can watch people do before you even meet them and you can learn a lot about them. So if you have one that you've been eyeing forever, maybe you're obsessed with like getting a deep pore facial, if you're obsessed with before and afters of dermaplaning, make it a point to make an appointment for yourself in 2020. That way, even if you just do it one time, you tried it, it's something that you can talk about that you really enjoyed. And it's just a good way to treat yourself too. It gives you something to look forward to. I love when I see clients that tell me that um, they booked this facial right after they finished their finals or right after they graduated or right after they got their new job, they would do it because it makes me feel like that I'm doing my part to help this person relax and treat themselves. So really think about what is something that you've always wanted to do for yourself and do for your skin and try it in 2020. So the skincare tip is more towards the viewers that are into makeup. Um, make sure that you are properly washing your makeup brushes and your beauty blender. If you're going in with dirty tools, not only are you dirtying your makeup, which a lot of people don't realize, but yes, your makeup breeds bacteria, it gets dirty, it has germs. So if that's the case and you're using dirty tools, you're putting it on your face and you're putting it on your makeup. So for one thing, if you're still using regular beauty blenders and you don't want to get rid of them as much, try using a more affordable alternative. I always personally use the Real Technique sponges um, and those ones are really affordable and they sell them everywhere. So you can pick them up almost at any store that you go to. But those ones are really, really nice. And that way too, I don't feel bad about throwing them away because I didn't spend as much money on them. So Beauty blenders and makeup sponges do not last forever. They probably don't last as long as you would like them to. But so when you have the beauty blenders, like especially the ones that are slanted and they have the like round angled part here, this part is going to have wear and tear on it. Of course, you can't help that it's going to rip, but that slanted part that you're patting on your face, once that starts to really rip and tear and you're wetting it and drying it, wetting it and drying it, it becomes just a breeding ground for bacteria especially because it's a porous object, all that sinks into those cuts and tears. So once it starts to rip and really fall apart, just throw it away and buy a new one. You're definitely doing your skin a favor. So the same thing goes for your makeup brushes, especially the brushes that you use for your face that you put that foundation and powder and stuff on. 
you really want to make sure you're washing those enough. One of the things that I like to do that I find helps is before I wash them. So instead of just going in with like soap and water and lathering them up, I like to soak them in a cup of soap and water first because I feel like it really helps break up that stubborn makeup that gets trapped like deep in the bristles of the brush. So I will just have them soaking for a couple of hours and just dish soap and water and then I take them out and then I like manually wash them with soap and water with my hands. I know the dish soap can be harsh on the brushes but honestly I'm not buying super expensive brushes so I would rather have them super clean than have them last long. I use BH Cosmetics brushes and e.l.f. brushes. I think they're amazing. They are more expensive brushes out there but I just feel like it's not something that you need to spend all of your money on especially if you're going to be washing them a lot you're going to like lower the lifespan of them. So just make sure that you're washing your brushes, you're washing your makeup sponges. That way what you put on your face is clean. It'll help keep your face clean and your makeup clean. And so that is basically it. So I know that I could probably go on for hours and hours about tips to take care of your skin and keep it healthy. But I really just wanted to start off with that kind of video to just get you into the new year and get you in good habits for your skin. I know it's a lot. I know that a lot of people don't have time for skincare. They say they don't have money, the time, and it gets a lot of effort and work. But you will truly thank your future self when you do it because I see so many people, especially the world we live in, the way Instagram is and YouTube, so many people are willing to spend so much money on designer like sneakers and bags and they spend all this money on their hair and making sure their nails are done and that they have like top quality makeup things like that but your face and your skin you're going to wear for the rest of your life every single day so it is worth the investment to take care of and making sure that you're doing things that your future self will thank you for um, I always tell my clients it is easier to prevent than it is to correct and especially with my younger ones but even if you're not a super young person I get a lot of questions from people in their 30s and 40s looking to prevent there's a ton of stuff out there for you as well it's just a matter of taking it upon yourself to make the time for yourself put aside the money to invest in it and really just be proactive with your skin and basically make it a point to want to see results and take yourself serious and take your skin serious and take care of it I understand it's a lot, but baby steps, it's a new year, start off with one good habit and then that trickles into other good habits, make it a point, five minutes in the morning to do a skincare routine, 10 minutes at night, it becomes a habit and then you do it without even having to think about it. So with that being said, I hope that everybody has a great year, I hope everybody sees improvement in their skin. Um, comment below what your goals are with your skin and life, because I'm just curious because I just love reading when people comment to me. like. It makes me feel so special that people take the time to watch the video and leave a comment. I don't know, but um, comment below what your goals are for your new year and with your skin and just your life. What are you excited about this year? What do you have going on? Um, I'm just curious to know and I like responding to people. So leave those comments down below. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you to everybody who watched every video that I posted in 2019. I sound like I'm getting sappy, but seriously, I've wanted to do this for so long and I never had the either... I was full of excuses. I was never confident enough to do it or I didn't have the money. I didn't have the time. But now that I do it and that people are responding well and they're commenting and watching, it means the world to me. Even if I help one person or one person watches a video, that's enough for me and I'm thankful for it. So thank you for everybody who gave me a chance in 2019. I have lots of video ideas for the new year coming up. Lots of exciting stuff that I want to share with you. If you like this video, if you like any of my videos and you want to support me, leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to my channel. I like my social medias down below all the time. You can always reach me on there. And everybody just have a good, happy, healthy, and safe new year.